Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got the Sylph Scope, which we shall use to scope out the ghosts here in Pokemon Tower. Something suspicious. Mr. Fuji is missing. He could be useful. We must free him. And he is in this tower. A couple episodes ago, I fought, I, I fought uh, Kaz here, and he had some things. You know, j just his regular team. I, I think he had, like, an Execute, which is new. But nothing much else different. I also fought one of the uh, channelers who are uh, gone, who have gone crazy. I think um, also there's ghastlies. Yes, the ghosts are ghastlies, and they're very ghostly, ghastly things. And they actually have genders, and you can use water pulse to wipe them out. Yes, indeed. So, uh, yeah. And we will actually very much need this self scope that these channelers speak of. The channelers themselves, before you, you fight them, are actually haunted. Can you believe that? I don't think you can! Well, anyways, they basically have these ghastlies, you know, basically tons and tons of ghastlies in here. Ghastlies and and one or two of their evolution hunter. There's also a few Cubones in here too, but they're kind of rare. So yeah, basically ghastly after ghastly after ghastly. This this selection of teammates is rather ghastly. This whole place is ghastly. It's grim. It's dark. It's haunting. It's ghastly. It's ghastly. Alright, let's just go on through here, shall we? I guess I'll sort of... Let me check my team. What are my levels here? I'm not gonna use my ball. And Miss Jiggles? Wow, I, I, I haven't used Miss Jiggles in a while. But she can be kind of useful. I, I, I'll, I'll leave her for later, you know? So I guess I'll just keep using Water Pulse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that even the strongest of the Ghastlies in here should be defeated by a good Water Pulse. Good Water Pulses. Plural. My dear friends. So yeah, you just speed up through all this ghastly nonsense. I've paid my respects and... Ooh, Bite! Much better than than anything else that I could have here, yeah, because Bite is a Dark-type move. So I shall be using it against these ghosts, because ghosts are weak to Dark-type moves, indeed. Hoo-hoo-hoo, I shall beat you, because I have Bite. So now I'm gonna be even more overpowered. Hooray! Alright, switch that way, switch that way. We're good. We're gonna bite some ghosts. Because that's totally healthy. What you're talking about? Like ghosts, but they're like gases and, and weird. Alright. But yeah, it's, it, it's kind of like a pun, you know, like gas and gassed, I guess. I don't know what gassed means, but whatever. Whatever, we got pokeballs and things, and they, uh. Despite all the ghastlies, because why not? You got extremely powerful. You can shoot powerful! <laughs> uh. Ghosts, no! <clears throat> I wonder if they no they normally use these ghastlies. I guess not. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they, they, they release them from Pokeballs, so I, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't think you can run in here, and I think that the frame rate is really going slowly for some reason. Yeah, like my computer is kind of heating up right now. But speeding up still works, so that's good. <sighs> mm. Alright. There's another ghastly. A ghastly combination of affairs. 
Okay, enough of that. I, I, I really don't know what else to say about this. And I already mentioned the RVI. Uh, I think uh, reality-infused or, or really vocalized illusion or something. Something like that. I think this channeler actually has the evolution of Ghastly Haunter. So, that's interesting. But yeah, I already mentioned that, and that sort of thing has, like, mentions all these, like, creepy pastas, I guess. Mentions them. About, like, some dead guy you can fight. I don't know. I don't think it's in this remake, so yeah. This channeler, I think, is the leader of the channelers here. And she is set up this space, so now my uh, PP is back up. That's totally non-sexual, and we got a cleanse tag. So, with this cleanse tag, we can um, give it to a Pokemon. And it says, it repels wild Pokemon if the holder is first in the party, which is very good. So we will deal with slightly fewer Ghastlies. Uh, slightly, mind you, not too many. Zombies? What? I'm not talking about zombies here, I'm talking about ghastlies, talking about ghosts. Ghosts and maybe some goblins too, I don't know. Heck, maybe Cubones are supposed to be goblins. That would sort of make sense. Yeah, Cubones, they wear skulls. It's kind of funny that, like, that the, uh, the rival doesn't use, to, use a Cubone. But he probably thinks it's weak, you know. Cubones probably cry a lot. <coughs> Excuracy. Excuracy. There. I really don't feel like fighting that ghastly. I didn't feel like fighting it. Alright. Just keep biting things. Good, good, good. Giggity giggity ga. <clears throat> giggity giggity goo. Or giggity giggity ga. It doesn't really matter which you choose. Sheesh, these, these channelers are like muttering these nonsensical words. Alright. Da da do 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 Alright. Let me think. What is there to say? My gums hurt because I had some chili today. That's something I can say. So, uh, the reason why you absolutely need the self scope, besides, you know, like, not actually, <clears throat> like, actually being able to fight the ghastlies, is to walk down here. You see, there's. An actual ghost that stays a ghost, but the self scope will unveil its identity. This ghost will stand completely in your way and will not let you pass pass up to those uh, stairs if you do not if you don't have the self scope, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, I shouldn't have used bite, but whatever. I'm going to just switch that move out with water pulse. And s and just knock that knock this thing out of the park. Oh, oh, really? Oh, by the way, you actually can't fight. You cannot catch the catch. You cannot catch the Marowak. It is a ghost Marowak or something. So what's up here with the golden graves? Oh yeah, and there's graves here everywhere. I didn't mention that. Also, I accidentally went down the stairs. Also, there's Team Rocket. Team Rocket, what are you doing here? This is a sacred ground. These are sacred grounds. It actually makes sense because the sort of palette, you know, like the sort of yellowish orange, is prevalent in the sacred grounds in the, the game um, Cave Story. I'm thinking of doing a let's play of it, I'm not sure. But anyways, right now we're just gonna roll into some things, you know. Cause that's what, what Miss Jiggles does happen to feel like doing, and that's what Miss Jiggles shall do. Oh, uh, that was 
It could have gone so much better than that. <sighs> Miss Jiggles. I'm really considering replacing this thing with a Dratini. I don't even care how much experience Dratini will hog, because dragons do hog lots of experience. If I've never used Dratini before, probably never. At least I don't remember. So maybe, I might. Well, I just use Chiding to not, uh, not defeat things. <sighs> Chiding, please. Oh, yeah, the rockets are on the way. That's good. That makes sure that they are out of here because they should be out of here. They, they do not deserve to be here. Uh, they're complaining about Mr. Fuji. They're keeping him hostage. What is this? This is cruelty. This is old man. Cruelty to old man. Cruelty to drowsies, too. But that's another story. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Been recording for about an hour, I guess. No, not really. It's just that my voice kind of hurts today. Let's start this one off with a swords dance. Increase the attack stat because this Zubat can't do much. Now we shall just kill. Def no, not kill. Defeat everything. And this guy's team with aerial aces, even if they are evolved, which they don't seem to be. Well, there's Eradicate. But there you go, aerial ace defeats it with the help of Swords Dance. Oh, I am gonna get away with this. And Mr. Fuji is getting away too. And uh, isn't there something with these graves? No, I thought, I thought, I don't know, it was some dead corpse or something. I guess it was only in the original games. Because Mr. Fuji here would actually block the way to those last gravestones. I don't know. I, I, I haven't really checked the original games, if that's true. But I don't really feel like doing that. Except I might. But anyways. No, Mr. Fuji is back here. And what is so important about Mr. Fuji that we had to go all the way up there to find him and free him from the clutches of Team Rocket? Well, he yeah, gives you the Pokey Flute. What is the Pokey Flute for? Sleeping Pokemon will spring away. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. Well, I have one indeed that is pretty much the only one that happens to be a sleeping obstacle. So it's just flying over here. Well, actually, I, I think I'll go, um... Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to go to Vermilion City. And, uh... You see, the, I'm just going to deal with one on uh, Route 11. So, yeah, I guess so. I mean, Route, yeah, Route 11, Route 12, and oh, yeah, this guy. This guy is an aide. Uh, the, oh, okay. Well, that's convenient. He actually mentions that you should go to Route 2. I don't think he mentions that going through Diglett's Cave, but I guess he can, like, kind of, you know, talk to some other people, and they'll, like, tell you, hey, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, demonstrate this Poke Flute. Try to defeat this Snorlax with said Poke Flute. Da -da 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 -da. All right, and now let's take care of the Snorlax. It is at level 30. I will not use it. Just putting that out there. I don't really want to use it. Oh no! Oh no! No no! If you're gonna put me. Uh, Okay, well, at least I got cute charm. Also, there's that. Oh, dear. Yeah, it has a chesto berry, which is kind of tricky to deal with. Also, it likes to use rest a lot. Also, it can headbutt very powerfully. Aha! I put you to sleep. I already used defense curl, but whatever. All right. 
Roll out combo. Let's do this. Come on, Jiggles. Ah! That hurt. Okay, come on, come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. That snow like hit and then didn't hit or something. And it, oh, oh, okay. Hooray! Miss Jiggles, you have proven yourself worthy, and I shall respect you for now. But sooner, uh, I think in a few levels it's going to learn Body Slam, so that's good. And somehow it returned to the mountains even though I was kind of in the way of the mountains. I don't even care. This is a sport fishing area. In the next episode we shall be going through this sport fishing area. And yeah, that that's that whole thing. Goodbye.